Hello, my name is John Bender Waffles Aljets, and you are watching Critical Development, the show where I take a look at maps and such that you send in, critique them, and then remake one in my own style. This week we have three maps from three different RPG Maker creators, so let's jump right into it. First up, we have this map from Michael Jafar. It's sort of like this mountainous maze sort of situation. There's a lot of different caves that it looks like the player can get into. There's a ton of elevation changes. And honestly, this map might be one of the better ones I've ever had sent in. To me, the verticality of it makes it feel unique from a lot of other maps that I get. Most of the time I'm seeing like a flat town, you know, not a lot of movement up or down, but this map, that's all it has. Now, a few things that immediately jump out at me really comes down to the fact that this seems like it would be kind of hard to to navigate for players. Now, if that is the point, if it's meant to be a maze, that's great, but otherwise it's just sort of confusing. I mean, the only direct path that I really see is from the lower left-hand cave all the way up to the middle sort of cave area. All the rest of them just sort of seem hard to reach, especially this lower cave area. That being said, I absolutely love the way that Michael here plays with not only different mountain tiles and the grass and things of that nature, but also the way that he integrates these bodies of water. It just looks beautiful. Honestly, there's not a lot wrong with this map. I think it's actually extremely well done. So good job, Michael. I hope to see more from you in the future. Wow, you guys are really upping your game when it comes to your map creations. This one here is from David Wilson, showing a sort of river town next to what appears to be a castle wall. And my God, this is really well done. This looks like something that I would see in kind of like a Harvest Moon sort of game. Uh, at least that's what immediately jumps out at me because it's very lush, very green, very rural feeling, while at the same time also feeling like a proper village that people would live in. I love the use of the different sort of stone tiles in the middle to denote like the main road through the town. I absolutely adore this little bridge down here that is almost like the first thing that the player might see as they're making their way in. Now, a few things that I'm not a super huge fan of, note that I'm getting really nitpicky here. The buildings are kind of boring. There's not a lot of shape to them. There's not a lot of interesting features to them. I would love to see the building shapes vary a little bit more because really they're just sort of rectangles. I mean, you have this one here that kind of looks a little bit better because it's got the little addition. But other than that, all the rest of them are just rectangles. If you just varied up the buildings a little bit, I think it would look a lot better. Altogether, I think this looks amazing. I would love to explore it myself in game and I cannot wait to see whatever game this is a part of coming to completion. I just think that this is incredibly well done. Great job. And last but not least, we have this final map from John's job, which has a lot of good things going for it and also quite a few problems. First and foremost, the buildings, they're boring. They're not as boring as the last map, which just had rectangles. This one at least has a little bit more shape to some of their buildings, but it's still not great. I do like how it plays with elevation and the river running through it really breaks things up, but there's not a lot of interest to the map. There's nothing about the map that really stands out. I mean, sure you have this graveyard, which is cool looking. I'd like to see it have a more prominent role in the map, I think. And this building here that I'm assuming is some sort of like temple or something, it's, it's cool to be there. It's nice to have landmarks like that, but it's just boring looking. All in all though, it's not a terrible map. I just think that it could be improved in quite a few ways, which is actually why I'm going to take a look at it here in this speed development. So let's jump right into that and get to it. You know I see through anything 
Now, as you can see, there are some very large differences between my map and his, while also at the same time retaining the same sort of overall feel. I went for a much more like planned and placed out road structure, a whole lot less swerving, something that I just prefer to do. There's really not much of a problem the way that he did it, but I prefer my roads to be much more uniform. Also, this temple here looks a lot more visually striking. I went with more of a castle theme because just to me in my head, that's sort of the way that I envisioned it going. And the graveyard is significantly larger. There's there's so many more gravestones. I kind of imagine in my head as being more like a military graveyard, like maybe a memorial to a war or something like that. At least that's the way that I put it in my head. I also tried to include some more landmarks just to make things more interesting. I added in more bodies of water just to kind of play with the idea of this being a more wetlands kind of thing. I also added in this tree labyrinth thing down here just as a little bit of a fun area for the player to explore. Always nice to add in those little details. All in all though, I think that uh, both maps do their jobs pretty well. It's just kind of really up to personal style. And if you have a map that you would like to submit to be looked at by me on this show or really any piece of development, be it a character design or level from a different type of game or whatever, be sure to tweet it at me. I'm at Bender Waffles on Twitter. Use the hashtag critical development to make it easier to find and I will take a look at it in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.